the journey was a, a quick one. It depends on how you look at it. If you think of the journey from when Blackish started, it was a nice long journey. If you think of it from the summer between season three of Blackish and season one of Grownish, it went by like the speed of light. Um, Blackish has been amazing just because it was really my entree into the TV world. I'd been guest star on a show, I'd been a series regular on a show before, but to be on a show that had such a big platform like Blackish, who that has such a big platform like Blackish, and to be on a show that really has dedicated itself to being socially aware and has dedicated itself to being relevant, not for the sake of being relevant, but because that's the storytelling that we desire to see, um, was really important and I think really set precedent for what projects I wanted to be a part of afterwards. Um, and so Grownish happened, um, Kenya Barris called me with the idea January 3rd, which is actually the day, so Grownish premiered a year after, exactly a year after when he called me with the idea, which was crazy. But um, January 3rd, he had called, he had already talked to my parents a week ago, like a week beforehand with the idea, and uh, he had called me, I just finished my own college applications, and he was like, so what do you think about Zoe going to college? And I was like, what do you mean, what do I think? I mean, I thought I was just gonna disappear from Blackish, and like that was just gonna be the end of Zoe. Like she was gonna go to college and we just kinda never see her again, and she pops up now and then with Rick Fox, but like I didn't really imagine <laughs> like anything else happening. And so um, I, I think the process before I signed on to the show was really only a span of a couple of weeks. I went from 16 to 17, and what really sold me on the idea was having the creative meeting with Kenya. Um, because before we had had, I had a brief conversation with Kenya, and then it was all lawyers talking. But when I was able to sit down and talk to Kenya and talk to Larry Wilmore about their vision with the show, um, it really sold me because they were trying to do something special. And um, of course, I think Zoe would have naturally evolved on Blackish had her character just stayed on Blackish and nothing else. But it was an amazing opportunity to tell her story through the through her own lens, because ultimately Blackish is, is through Dre's lens. And so everything that happens is with the purpose of Dre learning something. And so even though there is amazing character development for each character on the show, we had a different opportunity and other stories that we could tell when it's Zoe. Um, and, and so yeah, then the, the process between season three of Grown, th season three of Blackish and season one of Grownish was really fun because Kenya treated me as a collaborator. I was in the room when all of my castmates are auditioned and we read together um, and I was talking to the writers and so it was an amazing process because he did want to hear from me and it was a funny moment of trying to figure out how Yara would feel about something and then figuring out how would Zoe feel about something. 